Welcome to my channel Swiftland. In this tutorial, I will show you how to display data from SQL Server database to text view using Android application. Step by step. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. First of all, I am creating a folder in the directory to create an Android application. My directory is uh, D Drive Android Project Tutorial folder, and my project name will be Display Data from SQL to Text View. Open the folder now. This folder is empty. Okay. Now start Android Studio. Now I am going to create an Android application in the directory what I already created click on empty activity click on next yes now select the directory and uh, project tutorial folder and uh, my folder name is display data from SQL to text view just click on ok yes name the application the application name will be display data from SQL to SQL ok language Java click on finish yes my project is created you can see in the left side uh, directory in the project is created okay now this is main activity dot java first of all i'm going to design this page so to uh, to design this page just design in activity main dot xml remove the default hello world and now design the form with button and text view control just drag and drop resize this button control this button control I will use to load data in text view from SQL. Okay, concentrate the button uh, to fix its position in this page. Now add text view and position the text view also. Yes, and uh, add another text view. Yes okay i'm just adding three text view and a button control i will load data in text view from sql server using button click okay my design is ready now go to the code and in this code first of all in the button i uh, change the text size android text size size is 30 sp just copy this text size and paste it in the text view same text view 2 3 okay now my design is done concentrate the left and right of text view if you don't concentrate it said uh, it will take the default position left left side of this page now start sql server connect uh, put your SQL authentication password and then connect yes it's connected now my database database name is programming db expand the table table name is product setup underscore tab here i will see the records what i will display in the android application these are the records in the database table record item name design and color okay now add new java class to connect android with sql in that case first of all add a java class java class name will be connection helper okay in this connection helper i will create connection first of all connection connection okay i'm just declaring a connection variable now i'm just declaring some variables a string type a string ip port db un for username and password db database suppress link to get the link value new api okay now public connection con class yes now put ip ip my server ip server ip is 172.1.0.1 this is server ip and port port is sql server tcp ip port and db db is database name my database name is programming db you can see in the sql server database programming db and uh, un username sql server authentication username is sa 
and password password is SQL Server Authentication Password Test 1 to 9 okay now strict mode dot thread policy policy t policy okay i just declared as t policy strict mode dot thread policy t policy equal to new strict mode dot thread policy dot builder dot build dot permit all dot build okay now Street mode dot set third policy. Third policy is T policy. Just call the T policy. Yes. Now connection con equal to null. First of all, declaring a null connection. Then I will uh, use the connection. Okay. String connection helper connection URL. Uh, default connection URL is null. Now, in the try catch, try catch, catch is exception ex. Then log dot e fast break, and then error. It's display the error with the starting error text. Get masses x dot get masses. Press alter plus enter to uh rectify this error okay now class dot for name net dot chores force dot zds dot jdbc dot driver okay now connection url my connection url is first of all jdbc colon jds colon SQL server colon then double slash and then just for the variable IP and then colon for the syntax accurately and then for and then database database is db database name equal to db and user semicolon user user will be sa and password password is variable password password is just at the rate one to nine okay now con dot driver manager dot get connection connection url okay now it's uh, all fine oh missing return statement so add return statement return con okay now it's done I am used uh, jar dependency so I have to use jtds file and jar dependency in this project so this is my jtds file you can see jtds-1.3.1.jar uh, download link given in the description box below and this is my project uh, display data from SQL to, uh, to text view and in the apps in the library just uh, copy this uh, jtds file and paste it in the library okay it's added in the library project library and then now uh, go to the file menu in this project and click on project structure in this uh, uh, here you can just uh, select dependencies and click on F and then now click plus sign to add the jar dependency just click on jar dependency here step one you just uh, for the path of this library copy this path yes and paste in step one in the library put backslash and uh, add the file name just copy the file name file name is jtds-1.3.1.jar .jar. just paste it and then click ok and it's added now click on apply and ok ok you can see the gradle build and it's a uh, gradle project syncing ok it's done now 
go to the main activity and here stop our connection connection connect connection connect and then string connection result default result is blank now I'm gonna create a method to display data from database to text view in Android in that case public void get data to text view view B okay now text view first of all I'm gonna declaring variable for text view text view te equal to break first break text view and then find view by id id will be text view r dot id dot text view the italic uh, text view is id of the text view what i added in the android piece and second one is for text uh, text view 2 and third one is this you can see text view first one is id text view second one is text view 2 and third one is for uh, third one is text view 3 so I rename the text view 2 and uh, text view 3 ok now I will try catch try catch exception ex and then log dot e and put or error dot x dot masses get masses ok now press alter plus enter yes okay now connection helper connection helper connection helper equal to new connection helper connection helper is my class name what i added connect connection helper dot con class con class is uh, on the connection helper i have added the con class in the connection helper okay i just call this con class in the connect if connect not equal to null i mean if connection is okay is sql server connection is okay then it will execute so it will execute the first of all uh, i just uh, writing query sql query and the table name is product underscore setup underscore tab coffee and paste it in the sql statement select star from product setup tab now statement st and smt equal to connect dot create statement and then result set r is equal to stmt dot execute query 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 is my string query select a star from product setup tab query okay now while rs dot next then first of all txv1 the result will be display from sql server database to txv1 so txv1 dot set text rs dot get string and this is column index column index 1 and this is column index 2 and uh, txb 3 for column index 3 ok now th this is txb 2 and this one is txb 3 ok now it's done now you can see the method name is get data to text view so go to the activity main.xml and go to the button and go to the click button click just uh, select the method get data to text view ok now it's uh, it will be working fine everything is ok now go to the android manifest.xml in this android manifest.xml you should write this permission android permission name android permission dot internet and uh, the second one is android permission name is android permission dot uh, access network state okay now it's done go to the main activity dot java yes and these are the records in the database table 
Now with the SQL Server 2014 configuration manager to verify the TCP IP is enabled on SQL Server. I assume the SQL Server network configuration and TCP IP is disabled so enable the TCP IP and in the SQL Server service just restart the service to apply changes. Yes it's restarting. Stop and stop and turn service and client protocol TCP IP is also enabled. Okay now TCP IP is also enabled so I can run this app. Yes, it's uh, running. It will take some time. Be patient. Yes, button. Yes, click on button. Oh, it's displaying some error. Let's check the error. Check the connection helper class once again. So go to the connection helper. And here you can see IP is okay, port okay, database. Oh, sorry, database name equal to. I missed equal to. So user equal to and password equal to okay now let's change the text of this button uh, button text is load data okay now run run this f yes it's running and it is starting wait load data just click on yes it's displaying the records from the sql server database to text view yes 104 left which uh, uh, displaying the last record you can add higher close to display specific records in android project from sql server database table okay now product setup to higher product id equal to 102 redone yes now it's displaying 102 and if you put to 103 it will display 103 thanks for watching this tutorial